In the impact segment tonight, a group of Muslim advocacy organizations claim there has been so much anti-Muslim backlash after the terror attacks in San Bernardino and Paris that they're launching a voter registration drive and a bus tour to educate Americans. Hmm. The group held a news conference yesterday also suggesting it's time to step up their efforts to keep young Muslims from joining ISIS. Joining us now from Detroit, Osama Siblani, the publisher of the Arab American News, and from Phoenix, Dr. Zudi Jasser, the president of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy. Uh, Mr. Siblani, let's start with you. Here we are, December yes. 22nd. It took a long time for these imams, Imam Johari and others, to say, finally say, hey, time for moderate Muslims to speak up and, and address the youth. Well, they, they have been speaking. Now you're listening uh, to them, but they've been speaking for a long time. I have heard them a long time ago. This is a very good thing that they're doing, and it's better uh, late than ever uh, to, to register people, to get them involved in the American political process. That is the American way. I don't know, Mr. Sublani. We, we spend a lot of time watching these things, and this seems like the first outreach, at least the first public outreach. And by the way, can I just address something? They said they want to talk about talking to youth about not being radicalized by ISIS. How about condemning some of the things that are going on around the world? I didn't hear a lot of that. Well, I, I, I have heard them condemn this over and over again. And I tell you, yesterday we had a press conference here in Detroit, and the media were there, and we condemned it in, in the strongest terms. The Muslim American community have been going in every day condemning these terrorist attacks against you know, innocent people. You know, you have to remember one thing, that we are the first victim of this. Most of, most of the victims of ISIS are Muslims, are well, Arabs. Well, I don't know. They're San Bernardino, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, know? Mr. Sablani. I'm not sure, San Bernardino. I don't know who was Muslim and who wasn't in that attack. I'm, I'm mostly concerned no, I'm not about talking about. I'm not talking, I'm not talking that. about. Let me bring Dr. I'm not talking Dr. about the California attack. Dr. C, is this, is this enough and is it a little late? Yeah, you know, Eric, uh, when you said what took so long, I I'm trying to figure out what was positive about this development. I mean, these groups came together in a very Islamist way, and they spoke as one voice. It's almost like alcoholics getting together and saying they're going to help America get rid of drunk driving. I mean, they didn't address the ideology. They continue to only address the means, which is terrorism. They're not addressing the ideology. We had a reform movement that formed in a summit at the same National Press Club three weeks ago. We didn't condemn the terrorism. What we said was we condemned them the ideology. We made a declaration that we're against jihad, violent jihad. We're against the caliphate. We're for the equality of men and women. We owned up to the fact that our faith has core ideas that need reform, and we as Muslims want to own it. I saw none of that ownership, and in fact, Eric, the intoxicant of collective Islamism is exactly what these groups embodied, and they're going to continue to radicalize our faith community youth. To Osama Siblani, then some of the numbers, the most recent polls that we found on Pew Poll and Gallup Poll have shown that somewhere around 8% of Muslim Americans say suicide bombings are often or sometimes justified. Now, I'm, I, I do math, and, and that number comes 3 million people or so, 8%. You could talk about 240,000 Muslim Americans who think it's okay for a suicide bomb, at least sometimes. Well, first of all, I have to, to say that we have to hire your uh, other guest to reform Islam. I mean, that's ridiculous, you know. I mean, Islam, there's 1.5 billion people believe in this religion. I am one of them, and I am very proud to be a Muslim, Muslim American. Now, to answer your question, I don't know what kind of a question was asked in the poll, so I cannot answer exactly your answer. It makes sense out both, of it. Both Pew and Gallup polled Muslim Americans, and the numbers were fairly similar. And that was, I, I cited okay, the Pew 30, poll. 30 There's a Gallup poll, sir, that 30, has 11% said attacks on civilians are sometimes right, justified. Now, 11% of 300 million. Let me give you another poll. Let me give you another poll. May, can, I, can I help sure. you giving you another poll? There is another poll that 30% of Republicans wants to go out and fight Aladdin. Listen, your deflections I mean, you are know, completely really nonsense. What kind of a what? It's a Disneyland. It's a movie. And Do you take America? I mean, listen, Osama, you take Americans for fools. I'm not talking about reforming Islam. We're talking about Muslims who need reform. The ideas for ISIS are coming I, I, out of I'm regimes not, like Saudi Arabia, a, I'm not Iran, you for a fool, Hamas, Hezbollah. You're your own publication. For fool. Listen, Osama, your own publication could not get itself to condemn Hamas and Hezbollah. So for you to tell the American public that we don't need reform, are you kidding? Americans are not fools. 
schools. You need to wake up and look at the organizations and government that are speaking on behalf of Muslims around the world and own up to the fact that they are radicalizing our youth from corner to corner of the planet in the tune of hundreds of millions that you continue right, are you to blame are you America done or you're gonna give me this, this is all propaganda, you know, what you need to <laughs> do is you really need to know about Islam. Well, your ignorance is not an excuse because you don't know Islam. That's your Islam answer, ignorance? Like what, well, please, you're, please, you're taking, please elaborate. If, please elaborate about the substance of what I'm talking about. Rather, you are deflecting and showing a dishonesty as far as yeah, the, the reforms we have okay. to have. Dr. Right. Z, go ahead. Well, the, substance is, the substance is that radicalization is on equal footing among all the religions and ideologies. Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, there are there people that be radicalized. The people you, that the, the, the one who are the one who is 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 the the person who went on shooting rampage in Colorado, killing and injuring four people in a planet in Planned Parenthood clinic, was not a Muslim. He was the equivalent of the Iranian theocracy. He was motivated by Fox News. Mr. Sublani, he was motivated by those right-wing people we, we, uh, who goes on Fox News this and is the, who this is the tell typical people to go response. out. You're on Fox News. You're on Fox News right now. This is, a, this, is what, this is what always happens. You bring a care representative on and they, go, they do the same thing. Yeah, but what about those other mass shootings? Stop. I've got to go, gentlemen. Thank you very much. We're going to have to leave it right there.